Hello there, this is Ryu Kishin with my first ever drawing video. And uh, right now I don't really have anything specific to draw for these videos because this is the first one. So if you like and like the way I draw, let me know. And you can request specific things to draw, maybe how to, or have me explain a little bit more if you like on how I draw and the way and what I use and everything like that. So let's get started. Right now, I'm just going to be drawing uh, something that I plan to use for the manga I'm working on. Uh, so, yeah. I don't really do time lapse or anything like that, so these videos might end up being a bit long. If you don't like them, sorry. Don't really have much of equipment. Got a camera, YouTube, and drawing supplies. But, like I said, I am making them longer, so I'll probably talk about that for right now. Uh, the manga I'm working on, it takes place in its own little version of Earth, like. A lot of them do, you know, like Naruto had his own version with like Konoha and the hidden village of Sin, Mist, all those nice little villages. Uh, Full Metal, its own version of Germany. But I haven't really completely thought of the name for mine. It's probably going to be like. I don't really don't know. I had a name, but then like it came a thing on Cartoon Network with that name, so I was like, "Well, time to change it." But the main character's name is Kazi, Kazi Kashira, and what happens is for the beginning, without really any spoilers, I. Uh, he gets kicked out of the village he lives in and banished from the Seven Kingdoms. Of, uh, well, that he lives with. Uh, not really much to specifically say about it. I'm sorry for the background noises. There's gonna be ringtones, my cat's moving around. Madre's cooking dinner. So hmm. Yeah, you can see that somewhat. Uh the the mod is very magic based. A lot of spells, enchantments, uh, elemental magics, stuff like that, you know. Sometimes within these videos, if I like, I'm not too good with talking on my. Uh, to like a camera about random things. Unless I have like specifics, like a specific to topic about. You know, I'm probably gonna play some music sometimes when like I don't really have anything to talk about. I'll probably dim the music out when I do need to talk. I mean, I have basic equipment. I could probably do that with it. Other than that. It's probably going to be a bit hard for some things, like like I said, no time lapse. But I mean, it's better. I mean, you can ask, end up asking me stuff, and like I could answer like a lot of you guys throughout it. God, I really don't know why. Uh, maybe I should have practiced out what I was going to draw first. That probably would have been smart. A savage just winging it out. Right here. Oops. Mm. 
so lucky you can't see my face. I look hideous. I'm like, I'm really ugly. <laughs> uh, that noise is uh, my cat messing with the paper bag. Doing the lunch. And, like I said, this is very, uh, magic based, more of a magical area. There are gonna be lots of warriors and stuff like that. There's a huge feud between them. Uh, the warriors don't really like the magicians. And then there's the paladins, who are, like, kind of stuck in between, because they both use magic and their warriors, so it's like, uh, they're kind of looked down upon upon all sides of them. Like magicians won't take them in. No, no mage will. And then the warriors just see them as traitors for learning magic. So most part, uh, it just gets a bad area. A lot of the kingdoms end up having to deal with it, like. The main character ends up running into a paladin and everything like that. But because the main character knows what Exile is like, he's probably going to help him out. I'm not entirely sure about how I'm going to make him deal with that situation yet. And great. Let's not. Yay. Luckily it's a lead pencil. That's why I love lead pencils. Even if your lead breaks, you can still just like do a couple clicks and then you're back to normal. Don't have to waste really like five minutes sharpening to the to that right point again. Well, as you can see, uh, what I was talking about is I was going to be drawing a dragon. Its neck is kind of in long. Uh, for a simple reason is I kind of through too long, but in the end it's gonna work it out. Uh just darkening it around the lines right here, so when I do end up having to erase some stuff, it doesn't completely erase. Hmm. I uh, like uh, when I have horns and stuff like that. I'll make like uh, curved lines on it uh, to help give it like texture and things like that. A lot of the there's very few dragons within the actual series, though. I mean, you'll see them a lot, like the, the few you'll see them like quite throughout. Because as a war starts, dragons tend to leave. Because it, the first war with humans that I'm talking about, things happened with a lot of the dragons. I'm not gonna go into too specific detail. But then again, spoilers. I really just need to get my manga up first. <laughs> Probably end up working on it on here as I talk about things at times. So it ends up helping me like get this done and all that. Well, while being able to do it, I really want to be able to uh, like see how many people will support me because I really love drawing. I mean, it's what I love to do. I love doing this. I love Pokemon. So I'm also on one of my channels. Uh, I'm actually a PokeTuber. I YouTube the Pokemon. It's actually quite fun too. I mean, not many people support me on there, but those who do, I like. It really does make me happy. It really, I really do appreciate them. And in the end, you know, what else can you really ask for? Those who 
support you. Uh, those are the ones who make you want to continue going. I mean, it's what ends up like bringing you up. It's kind of different with drawing, though. I mean, I was watching a Mark Crowley video. Uh, he's a really good artist too. I mean, he has his manga up and everything like that. So go check him out. But I was watching one of his videos, right, and he was talking about like. How people take criticism and there was like an entire video about it and it was really cool uh, because there's people who are talking about how it's good how it's bad and one of them was talking about like how it's good uh, as we get older because as we get older and uh, understand more the yeah we like the praise but it's not gonna help us grow as as an artist, I mean, we look more to the criticism because it teaches us what we can do and what we need to improve on. So, I mean, that's a good thing to bring up now. I mean, I do, I'd kind of like to know your opinion on criticism. How do you view it? I mean, do you think it as just like someone trying to punch you in the face or trying to help you out? That's going to be the question of the day. And that's going to be a question of the day. What do you view criticism as? Good or bad? Let me down in the com let me know in the comment section below. And with the next video, which if I get a good amount of likes, it will be up within a, a few days. Hopefully I can get to doing this to where I can do it like pretty much daily. I mean that'd be nice. That'd be really nice. I mean, you know, that'd be cool. I mean, have discussions daily and everything like that. Kind of put that one a little a bit up there, but let's do this. So it matches, you yeah. know, right there. We're probably going to put in some scales on here because, I mean, it is a dragon after all. Dragons have scales. Uh, I kind of thought this neck was going to be too long. It probably is considered the portion of the body, but I still like the way this dragon looks. I mean, it's not that bad. A lot of my friends say I'm good. A lot of teachers said I was good. Uh, but I still say I'm just average. I mean, I mean, if you look at like a lot of the manga artists out there, if you look at Mark Crowley, I'm not that amazing. They have they don't really take the time to like compare me to like a lot of the other artists. They just say, "Oh yeah, man, you're good. Go. You like the way you draw." Say, like, thanks, man. Take a look at these artists. Don't compare yourself to the other artists, man. But hey, it's how we it's how we grow. I mean, we take them as a reference uh, to where we can get from where we are, and we try, and that's what makes it better. We look up to them either as competition or our idols onto where we want to get to. Personally, I look as an artist who's better. As a bit of both, I mean, I look up to them because they're like a lot better, and even when I do end up getting better than them, I look up to them because that's where they got me to. And then I look up to like some of them, like my brother's girlfriend. I look up to her as a bit of a competition because she's only a few years older than me, but she's gone to school and everything for this. Uh, I'm pretty much self-taught for the most part. I mean, there's a few things I learned from books and everything. But other than that, oh, and then, like I said, there's YouTube. YouTube's a great place for learning. I mean, I don't want to discredit school or anything, but you can learn pretty much everything you want to learn in school on the computer, on YouTube for the most part. 
You want to take up a new language? Hey, there's YouTube people out there for that. Or you can just go to your public library. But yeah. Well, we're almost to the inking stage. Like I said, the reason why I darkened a lot of this out was so uh, when I would have to erase, it wouldn't go away completely. I mean, a lot of this now I could just erase and like the lines would still appear. But what I like to do is, even with the pencil here, I like to trace over it with the ink. I'm not sure how well you can see that. Pretty sure you can see it pretty decently. Uh, this is just the computer camera. Ooh. Like I said, whoa, we're already like 16 minutes into this. Well, wow. alright, that's pretty cool. Um, one of the longest videos I've had. I don't really do much long videos when I do Pokemon. For the most part, I do uh, post commentated Pokemon battles, but. I've been getting into more lives, so I have like a few like 30 minute ones, like 20 minutes, you know. Every now and then, it'll be like super long ones that are commentated, especially when live. Because, wow, Pokemon battles get like crazy. <laughs> Even on this channel, I'm still talking about Pokemon. This doesn't leave. You'll refer to me. You'll hear to me refer to that channel a lot, probably, throughout here. If you like me to stop, let me know. I mean, there's not really gonna be a description to that channel or a link, because you know, different and everything. But still. I know, my hand blocks a lot of it, blocks it a lot sometimes. Let's try and do this. That one probably, probably won't help as much, but it will still help a little. Hopefully. To where you can see it being done. As I'm doing it. Hmm, what else should I talk about while well, just going through this? I mean, this, see, normally this would be a part where I'm putting music on. Yeah, no, wouldn't be, but I'm trying to, since how this is my first video, this is like a test trial to see what you guys like. If you want me to put music on the like blank spots where I'm blanking out, let me know. Like this is this is where like for the most part you can tell me like what you want out of the videos. Yeah. I do have a Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, uh Instagram. This will go on Instagram. I mean this is probably gonna be like This is probably going to be, you know, I'm not sure entirely what the, what the thumbnail will be. I really like custom thumbnail, thumbnails, I mean, I've been trying to do those with my Pokemon videos. Yay, super excited about those. I actually have to get a new, a new one done soon. It's been like three days since I uploaded over there. Yikes. That's probably why people like stop paying attention so much to my channel. I mean the uploads have been getting kind of scarce over there. I mean I love it but I don't always have the time to record battle especially since how I lost my DS charger which isn't good at all. I mean 
I kind of know where it's at, but I really don't want to go over there at the moment. So I'm hoping maybe someone can help me out, one of my friends, you know, go get it for me. Or bring it to me. Either one's very nice. Yeah, but, you know, while that's happening, uh, it gives me more time to draw instead of focusing just on, like, Pokemon battles, you know. It's kind of, like, makes me like drawing again, like, the fact that I actually did this, this is, like, my, well, not first take on the video, but first time drawing on the video, you know, because I was so used to commentating Pokemon battles, like, took me a few tries to get like get that out of my system and just go all right let's talk about it. let's not commentate pokemon battles we're not going to do battle right now and even now and i managed to be bringing like pokemon into this actually at some point i know it's going to be very lame but i'll probably draw like a pokemon every now and then you know very few only like really my friends know about this and now you guys are gonna know about this Pokemon is actually what got me into drawing I mean when I was a kid I would I'd kind of draw I'd like more doodle everything like that but Pokemon is what got me to be wanting to be a manga artist like I know you say like Pokemon isn't really anime but I mean Pokemon even has a manga and everything so that Pokemon really is more of the anime style Especially now more than ever. I mean, back then, it was more of the Dragon Ball Z type anime style. Like, really sketchy and everything like that. Which is cool. I mean, that's still a cool style. I mean, I would m wouldn't mind seeing like an anime every now and then like that. I still go back to watch the old Pokemon. But I mean, even though it's, it's cool, we still advance. We still like to see some normal anime styles. Well, not normal. Some newer ones. Any anime style. Ooh, good story. Good plot. Ooh, plot. Mm, but we're almost done with this. Oh no. Oh yeah. We're. Well. Oh no, cause. It's almost done. Yay, cause. Almost gone, and I'm running out of topics. Just keep going back to the same one. Probably boring by now. So let me try and think of something new for a minute. Uh, let's see, did I forget anything? Oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot all these little lines right here. Oh, and I was about to erase that. Well, I guess I could kind of talk about the materials. Okay. Although I doubt, like, most of you guys are really interested. As you can see, you know, I'm using a microband pen. You know. I only have one left. It's a three. But I'm going to be working soon, so. I'll be able to buy a new pack. Get more. Uh. I have, I'll bring in my other ones, as you can see. For my pencils, though, I mean, I have the shading pencils, you know, uh, H, B, and all of that kind of stuff, all the different ones, but I like using lead pencils. I mean, they're so reliable. You don't have to worry about, it's like, sharpening them all the time. I feel like every, like, 10 minutes, I'm trying to have to, I'm going to have to, like, sharpen my, those shading pencils, and it's just kind of bugs, I mean. If you think about it, like, why would you do that if it's going to just waste your time when you could use a lead, for me it's more of using just a lead pencil and within a matter of the time I would have taken using it, a normal pencil, so I could like do all of that, I would be using a lead pencil the same with like shorter time, sorry. I'm like losing my talking, talkingness. Oops. Not really a talkingness. Mm. Oh yeah, I forgot about those, those toes right there too. Well, 
You know, I gotta be more curved. Let's see, Put that around so we can get it done better. Oh, we got the little nuts. Little nose piece right there. Well, now we did it. Alright. I very suck at music, I very suck at music, I suck at music very, very much. I'm sorry if I made all of you guys in here bleed with that little, like, trying to sing, but I suck at singing. I'm no fucking, none of my friends who are all like, very talented at that. For like, some reason. I see. I'd rather have friends who are talented at singing than talented at drawing, because then I had one friend at one point who was like, who was also trying to be a manga artist, and for us it became like a competition. Honestly, if I could get in touch with that friend again, I would. I mean, I found out so many things since like we stopped talking, since that person moved away, and like we haven't been able to get in touch. And I, Honestly, I'd like to see how well that person's um, moved forward. I mean, I guess with people, it doesn't really matter if you, how well you guys were friends or not. Even then, sometimes you'll still care and wonder how they're doing. If they progress, and maybe you could help them out. I have a few things I could help them out with. Probably help me out too. You know, friends. We could always find a way. One day, I'll talk to them again. Well, it's time to erase a little bit of things. Erase all of this pencil that's underneath, that's lying beneath. I was about to sing some really weird music. I'm not sure how many of you guys are Linkin Park fans. I used to listen to a lot of Linkin Park when I was younger. I mean, they've changed a lot since then. I mean, I'm only 18, but yeah. <laughs> We're 19, that's right. I'm 19 now. Just getting older and older now. But yeah, they've changed a lot since, since I first started listening to them. They're very different. And the wings on here are very different, too. I realize that. Okay. Kind of like re put in his pupil. Let's pull it in. Alright, now, see, as I was talking about, now you've seen three of my materials lead pencil, number three, eraser. Of course, we always have to have an eraser. Alright, now, let's say this one's to start off with. I, I'm going to be using the computer soon. Probably, I'm getting, I have a manga studio and everything like that, but, you know, using these pens sometimes just really does help. I mean, when you don't want to use a the computer, they're like toning pens basically. And I just want like a light shade like right around here. So like I could just like lightly well I don't even have to be super light. I could just like shade in right here. God this video is like twenty something minutes right now. I see it too. I'm like, oh god, they're probably like gonna be gone by this point. I don't want to blame them. Cute. Great. I'm probably going to end up needing that uh, speed up button at some point. 
you know, put the horns here too. I mean, just put a light shade right here, you know, make that a little bit darker than the rest. And go along like that. And boom, you have some shade. You have some tones to it. Uh, compared to the way it is, I mean, you could tone out right here. I mean, like right next to the nose. And then, uh, say, and it seems how that's going to be a bit darker right underneath the mouth. I can do this. And now it has a little bit more. And then right here. And right here. And right here. See how that looks on screen for a minute. Sorry. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. This is about like 30 minutes right now. Okay. Let's see. Now I actually want the horns to actually have some decent shade in them. I'm going to go back over this with the same marker. You know. Go over it completely. Um, both of them. See, now it's like that, but now we still have to give it the shade. And I'm going to just use this one. This is just a little bit above that. I probably should have used right here too. But I mean, I don't want this to be like, too like noticeable. And then it's nice to give this part a little bit of shade right here too, because I mean it is a bit, little bit jagged and everything like that. And then we could just be like this right here, somewhat like do that right there. I mean, for it is like I said, it is a bit bumpy. I mean, they're all lines right there. And then we do the same on this side. And we'll see. You know, I'm kind of getting the hang of this, and I'm like, just talking about what I'm doing. Uh, as I'm inking it in. Uh, hmm. And now I said that kind of jinxed it for me. Because now I lost my, a little bit of my train of thought. I'm going to have to put a little bit of tone right here. And then... This... As you can see, this part of the wing, if you that part moves up, you know, right here, the wings are folded in, so they're just like, and that wing gets smaller. I did make a mistake right there. I'm gonna let you all see that. I'm, that I know I made a mistake right there. I probably made a few mistakes around here, but that's the one I caught. If you see any more, let me know. We can all laugh at it together in the next video as I try to do it better. As you can see, I'm just using that to help bolt out the line right there. And then I'm going to just grab the next one, which would be this one. Warm gray. Ooh, it's warm gray. Oh, that gray was ice. Fairy tale. Yeah, I don't watch Fairy tale that much, actually. I watch it every now and then when I get bored, but I'm more into, like, as you can tell, from the animes I listed, Naruto, Full Metal, Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan is better than the fairy tale. No offense to all of you fairy tale fans out there. I mean, I'm just stating my own, uh, personal opinion. I mean, if you think 
If you like an anime, go ahead and love it. I mean, anime is awesome. And no one should ever tell you that you shouldn't like anime. Like what you like. Don't let anyone ever say otherwise. I mean, if I let other people say otherwise, I probably would not be drawing right now. Uh, there's a lot of people in the beginning, uh, when I was like a little, little kid who were telling me not to draw and everything like that. But, I mean, I probably should have took their advice. I'm not, I haven't really gotten much with it. I haven't really done, tried to do much with it anyways. This is like the most I'm trying to do at the moment. This and actually trying to like get my chapter up. After I get it complete, uh, I keep lagging on it. I mean, between trying to get my jo a job, doing YouTube, do trying to get my manga up now. <laughs> And not even just this channel. I mean, it's both channel. I mean, I keep saying, I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm a mean person. Ooh, hurt me. No, but there's just a lot going on. And then I also got to make time for friends and family. And the little family I do have left. Not because of death or anything, because of my life choices. I'm a very bad person. Very bad. As you can see, I'm doing the same thing on both sides of the wing. And then, I'm going to use this again to like finish it up right here. You know, after a while, I mean, after I do this for a while, I'm probably going to get a bunch of my drawings and, like, make a montage or just talk about them. All the choices I made after, like, a while of, like, doing YouTube like this. I'm going to go over, like, some of the ones I've done on here. I mean, that'd be pretty cool, I think. Flashback to be on a Friday. Flashback Friday. Lol. And, okay, you know, I'm not going to do that on here. And that's going to be a strict no on here. That was dumb. Like, really dumb. I've been way too much on social media. But, I mean, I like Tumblr. I really do. I don't recommend it for everyone. I mean... The tumble life isn't for everyone. I I know <laughs> all you Twitter I and mean, Tumblr users are gonna get mad about that that saying <laughs> that I just said that. I mean, I can only t I can only think of what's gonna happen. Oh God. Uh, well, now it's time just to get shading with this. Like right here. I actually recently touched up a drawing I gave a friend. Like the other day too, using these. And I ended up liking it a lot. Like, I don't know how they like it or not. But I really did. I mean, Timmy is very nice. To see it like all like cool and shaded. Like not just a bunch of lines to act like it's shady. Basically tones. I mean, as you can see, I'm trying to like, tone it out. I'm going to end up putting the lines in in a minute. Like the shading lines that almost all manga artists use. I'm giving it the tones that it needs first. And then like... I guess there are some parts I can't really just shade with the lines. I mean, like, all right here. I'm going to have to use toning on it. Right here is going to need to be toned with a shadow. I mean, I can't put lines like that. It's just going to look weird. I mean, because it's all lines right there in the first place. So, And then I'll just do a shadow, a shade right there. All right here. I 
never really did put in the skills, did I? Hmm. I'll see if, what I can do about that. I'll probably just like put it in really quick. Or maybe no skills. Oh, is this guy getting lazy? No. Instead, it doesn't really need skills. Maybe if I, I do touch up and I feel like, you know what? It actually deserves to be scaly. Like, I mean, like, I'm not sure how much time the scales would take up anyway. Then, I mean, this video is already like almost an hour long. God, yeah, I'm probably gonna. Unless you guys really like watching like these hour videos, I'm probably gonna end up either like doing these in parts from now on, or I really don't know. But, let's, you know, let's try and do this in part. Uh, well, for the most part, this is done. I mean, just gonna add in like a couple shades right here. Add in a shade right here, shade right there. Ooh. Yeah. Just add that in at the bottom. Same with over here. Add that stuff in at the bottom. And then, really, for this most part, now it's done. I mean, I'll do another video, probably won't be as long, I'll probably, if it is going to get really long, I'll do it in parts, but, let's sign, let's sign this. Ryukishin here, and, remember the question of the day, uh, what, is your opinion on criticism? I'd like to get that started off. Sorry, just started, it, but yeah, you know, we all do that. Uh, but what is your opinion on criticism? Uh, let me know down in the section, in the comment section below. Let me know what you thought of this. Uh, let me know if you think I should do better. Like, I am going to be incorporating colors into this. Probably like next video, I'll get all my little color pencils uh, until I get my sharpies, and I'll do little colorings and I'll add in all of these too with amongst it. But, that's all for today. Uh, hope to see you again soon. Uh, Ryukishin, signing on out.